Hey y'all, I'm literally sitting on the floor in the living room, finally getting around to showing you guys that new piece I installed. Uh, super excited. I did something I didn't think I would ever do. I went shopping at Ikea. I have nothing against Ikea. I just am incredibly blessed that Jonathan and I are both fairly handy, so we're pretty chill with just building what we need. However, we were at Ikea trying to pick out built-ins for my oldest daughter's bedroom, and I could not find anything that was gonna work. And it was just like, I'm so sorry, we're gonna have to custom build it because I have this thing in my head and I want it to come to fruition. But the good news is, while I was there, I found this piece, which means we did not have to custom build this piece, so basically I just flip-flopped them. So we right then, unexpectedly on the spot bought this ikea piece and then came home and i was like let's just get it installed let's don't wait let's install let's go and it didn't take long it was just a couple of hours and we had it in i want to show you that up next but this is what i have had in the entryway for years actually this piece i've owned for oh my gosh over 10 years it was gifted to me by a family member i absolutely love the piece it's just not quite the style i'm taking this home and it was in my office it was in like one of the kids bedrooms upstairs and then it became over here in the entryway it's been great there it does not offer enough storage it does not offer enough places to decorate it just wasn't i mean it's too small for the wall there's a million one reasons why it needs to go so don't know where this guy's gonna go next like i hate to get rid of him because he's been with us for so long but we don't have a spot for him and he's not quite the look we're looking for so he's out on the patio right now like <laughs> let me see if i can show you guys i showed y'all in one of the decorated videos like legit I just put him outside. It's not even an outdoor piece, but I mean, we gotta just make things happen. So he's over here now, chilling. Don't know if I'm gonna try to make him work, because as you can see here, like he cuts pretty far into this door and not very often do I get to throw both of the doors open, but occasionally I do. Also, shopping for doors. If anybody knows some great doors, that are under a cabillion dollars hit me up. I keep finding doors I love and then I send in an inquiry for a quote, they're like $10,000 and I'm like, yikes, no. So anyways, back to what we were saying. Went ahead, got that piece taken out of the entry, got the entry all cleaned up, all cleared out and ready for us to build this piece. I love where we were but I love even more where we are now. This turned out so much better than I thought. This section is 138 inches long. It's a lot of cabinet. And we have so much more planned for this space. We want some beautiful knobs to put on there. We actually wanna put a topper on top of this, maybe something of a natural wood element, not quite sure. Um, but those things will come. And I just wanna encourage you guys, don't what what we call garage sell it literally just do step by step if this is the first step you can get done is getting the piece base installed go for it maybe it's just getting to the store and picking up the items to bring it home go for it you can work on it step by step so now that this is installed i was able to film those videos it was in the two or three different unboxing videos. We've been decorating with this piece. It's been on my Instagram wall, it's been wonderful. And now I have the ability to change it up as needed. So, really looking forward to it. Y'all wanna see the final, the final decor as it is right now? Here we go.
It makes me so happy. I still need to get a rug. I don't know what rug, obviously. This guy's gotta go. But a rug of some sort to go there. These chairs that I already owned that I've been trying to tie in over and over look fabulous against this piece. And then here's the vintage buffet that I got at that auction. It's right there. So it ties together so beautifully. And when I get that perfect rug, Another thing I wanna jump into is I typically don't give trolls much attention, but I've had a few pop up who have heard me say my house is small, but then they've heard me reference my entryway or my home office or my living room. And they've been quick to say, her house can't be too small if she has all those things. I'm standing in front of my front door, like I can touch it, it's that close. This is my entryway. That right there is my living room. So it's just one big room. There's not really any separator except for this guy. And there's my office. So although I may boast some beautifully eloquent labeled spaces, it's all one room, one room. And just to give you an idea, so that I can have an office, we don't have a dining room. We have a teeny tiny breakfast nook and that's it. So I wouldn't ever want falsehood narratives to be getting too far. I love my space. I love my small house. I opted out of a house that was twice as this, it was two times bigger than this one to have this space because I love the intimacy behind it. But uh, yeah, it's tiny and it can be tricky. A few of you have asked me for how to, on how I'm storing things. And I have under the stairs here, I gutted it all out from underneath there. I have storage there. I have storage in my garage. I am in the process of filming that. I want to film it. I've waited too late. It's already freaking hot here in Texas. So yeah, I may just have to buckle up Buttercup and get out there and work in the heat so I can show you guys how easy it is to store things with the right bins and the right storage centers and uh, right organization. Really does make it easy. The other thing I want to show you is my front door. Got this rug I need to sell. Oh, hey. This is stuff to decorate with. I'm excited, but let's go out the front door because I want to show you this. You see it there? You guys feeling so stoked on this new front door color. If you are new here and you're like, wait, what'd you change? This is what the front door used to look like. Absolutely loved it. Felt like maybe the black was too much of a pop and I wanted something a little more welcoming, I think is the word I would use. So I painted the door, this conifer green from Bear Paints at Homey Depot. Finally got some stones put in. I need one more stone right here up front and some more of those little rocks. I actually wanna bring those little rocks all the way over here so you can see I cleared a section just to kind of give some continuity there. And be honest, cause I want, I want truth. Do you like, <laughs> do you like the green or the black? I just ignore what I'm wearing. <laughs> Although I am a fan of green, I love greens. Are you a green front door or a black front door fan? Um, I like change, so I like the green. I like changing things, so change wins for me. I'd love to know what you guys think of this guy going back up over here. Also, still freaking crushing on Sunday lawn. Look at this, look at this. Is that not crazy, you guys? This stuff works so, so good. So like, here's some perspective. This is my lawn, right? Been using Sunday lawn for a year and a half now. This is my neighbor's lawn, like all the way across. You can see it's patched all the way through. All organic, all natural. Like literally the baby chickens were out here. The kitties were out here. The kids are out here. I have a link below. Huge fan, huge fan. Not getting paid to say this. Literally just a huge fan. And I want you guys to have beautiful green lawns if that's your thing. Let me show you something really exciting. Who loves to garden? If you've been around here, you know I freaking love gardening. It's super exciting. I have my first Meyer lemon bush and my first Meyer lemon. Can you guys see him? Love it, so exciting. Okay, what project should we do next? Definitely wanna take you guys through 
this space in Emma's room, my oldest. Y'all are gonna love what we're doing in there. We have an old house, it's about 50 years old, so there's no storage anywhere. So storage is like super essential for us. So that is a space I most definitely wanna take y'all through as we work on that. Hopefully I'll have some of that for, that's that's not gonna be as fast as popping an Ikea system. We're fully custom building out an entire room of storage where there is not a single ounce of storage. So could be interesting. And the next thing we need to do together is decorate the mantle because I did my last few videos over in my new entryway space. This guy literally has some leftover stuff tossed up there from like my favorite. I just freaking digging the yellows and blues. I started tossing everything up there to start designing with and didn't get to it. So definitely need to do a full decorate with me. And have y'all noticed a little bit of cover, color difference in the wall? We actually ended up painting this wall. So this wall was a really dark charcoal black. black. It had a little bit of charcoal to it. And we just painted it this more green color. Can you see it? And we definitely wrapped it all the way around. So this wall here used to be white and we brought the greens in here. I'm actually gonna freeze right here so I can pop up a before photo. This is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So like you're getting to see me in full mom life. These are all, those are all donations for a fair we're hosting at my kiddo's school. But I just could not show you guys how good it is to wrap this color around the wall. Super highly recommend it. And it's a green that complements the blue. They are coordinating, not matching. And I am about that life. So yay. So tell me what projects are you working on? Do you have a project you're working on? Do you have a project you wish you were working on? Tell me about it. I love hearing what everybody's doing for summer. What exciting things are on deck. Maybe you're traveling. Tell us where you're traveling to if you're not if you're not home decoring, remodeling, or DIYing. Are you traveling? Where are you traveling to? We're not traveling. We're gonna be working on the house. Well, at least that's the plan for right now. Our plans pivot. All right, you guys. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. We don't do a lot of these vlogs. I want to do more of them. I want to show more before and afters of the pieces I'm working on. The description down below has tips and tricks, links, and all that good stuff. But this is just a chill little hi to pop in in between unboxings and see what you guys are up to. I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribed, I'm going to see you later. Bye, y'all.